Let's face it, for some, sitting down to write a blog post on a regular basis seems like a daunting task. All kinds of questions swirl through your head, and I have the same questions. Where do I start? What am I going to say? How many words do I use? How do I get my point across? All of these questions swirl around in the mind of a novice blogger. Even more experienced bloggers have them. But see, here's the thing. You don't have to be an eloquent writer or a prose master to write a blog post. You just have to have something to say that will resonate with your target audience. They aren't looking for a masterpiece from you, usually just some useful information on a subject they're interested in. So, what do you do when it's time to start writing and you're feeling like a deer in the headlights? Sometimes just having a general outline can help kickstart your creative juices, so I'm going to construct a template to help you get started. First things first, have a compelling title. More people will read your title than will actually read your blog post, so you need to have a title that will make people want to read the article. If your title isn't strong or interesting, you've already lost some readers. Next, you need to have a lead paragraph that sums up the blog post. This is very important. The lead paragraph should get right to the purpose of the post and make it relevant to the reader. After the title, this could be the most important part of your post. If you take too long to summarize what the article will convey to the reader, you may lose them. Keep it short, keep it concise, keep it strong. Now you need to find a good image for your blog post. Images are used to draw your readers into the post itself. Find an image that relates to your article and feature it prominently. But that doesn't mean you can go online and search for any old image to use. Remember there's copyright rules in place, so don't just go swiping images online. There are plenty of websites where you can get copyright free images. Make sure you only use those if you don't have a subscription to a paid stock image service or licensing to use the image you want. It's always good and fun to put yourself into the post when possible. This helps your readers connect better with you. Try to share a personal experience or a twist with them. Let them get to know you. Make the main body of your blog post eye scannable. What does this mean? Use numbered lists, bullets, and small headers to allow your reader to quickly scan the article up and down to get an idea of what it's about. Nothing's more daunting to a reader than looking at a page that just seems like endless long paragraphs. Use these callouts to break the page up. Some other ways to make your blog post more readable include using shorter paragraphs. Try to stick to three, maybe four sentences per paragraph. If you do more than that, the page starts to look like it's going to be a chore to read. Write in shorter sentences. I personally struggle with this one because I'm the queen of run-on sentences, but I do suggest you try to avoid them. Shorter sentences make reading faster. Sometimes one of the biggest obstacles to get people actually writing on their blog is the fact that they think every post has to be long. While it's good to have some longer form posts, not everyone needs to be filled with tons of information. Keep many of the posts short. I would aim to have at least three to 500 words though to help you with your SEO. Another thing that a lot of people forget is adding links to their posts. When you write a post, be sure to include not just links to outside sources, but also internal links to other blog posts on your own site that are relevant. This helps keep your article shorter since you can direct your reader to a different post to expand on a point you're trying to make. Plus, you keep your reader on site and moving through other pages of your website. That's always good for SEO. And finally, end your post with a discussion question. Try to end your post with a question to the reader to encourage comments. This is, of course, if you have the commenting system turned on for your blog. Hopefully, this outline has given you some ideas to kickstart the blogging process. If you would like to have this information in a form you can print out and keep, head over to my blog at noracramerdesigns.com and search for how to write a blog post for beginners.